welcome back to my channel. It's another cooking episode. Today I'm going to share with you a recipe that I learned in 2005. I think it was in 2005 that I started to have interest in really cooking for entertaining guests. So I wanted to learn some dishes and some recipes so that when I have guests, my impress naman sila. So in one day, I learned how to make callos, lengua, and our recipe today, which is simple paella. So you will be surprised again that it's very easy to make. Our goal for this channel is really coming up with dishes or recipes that are not only easy to cook, but something that you can cook and serve when you entertain your guests. So I will share with you our ingredients for today. For our simple paella recipe, we're going to need six cups of cooked rice, pwedeng dinorado, pwedeng calros, pwedeng jasmine rice, and then we have chorizo bilbao. Okay, I buy this in a can, and then I slice it diagonally. I like my paella with chorizo bilbao. Tomato paste, not sauce, tomato paste. Two and a half tablespoons of brown sugar. We have four heads of garlic minced or about a one fourth cup. And then one half cup of violet onions. And two beef cubes. So for paella, we're going to need a few pieces of chicken cut up for those who like chicken in their paella. Optional, you can use bagnet or lechon kawali. And then like cleaned squid and a few pieces of shrimp. Okay, yung shrimp, pinanggalan po natin yan ng parang yung dito sa taas at saka pati sa tail. For garnishing, when we're all done, we're going to need some hard-boiled eggs. I think this is four boiled eggs that we cut. Red and green bell pepper, green peas, and lemon. Right, let's begin. Okay, so around one half cup of olive oil. Heat for a bit. Okay, so this is nice when you have guests. You can actually entertain with just paella because it's complete. There's rice, there is chicken, there's seafood, diba? Completo. So I'm going to put my minced garlic. Sarap! And then, of course, you can cook with a little bit of red wine. <laughs> and cook. And the... Uh, yeah, naman. Hindi ma advisable. <laughs> and then we're going to put the minced onions. We're going to do this. We're going to saute it until the onions are very soft. Okay, hintay natin umabot yung onions. There you go. See, it already smells good. Now that onions are soft, we're going to add two beef cubes. Okay, I love putting cubes in whatever I cook. For pasta, I can put chicken cube for this. Look, kuya, this is what I do to make it melt faster. Yeah. Yan. Dissolve faster. There. So, yan na. May alat na siya. Now that I have infused the onions and the garlic, I'm going to put them together. I'm going to add the cut up chicken. We're going to brown this a bit. We're going to start with the, the chicken because this takes longer. What part do you like? I think this is a lot, eh? You want a lot of <laughs> chicken? Okay. This chorizo bilbao that I buy in, in the can, iniiwan ko yung sebo kasi masarap rin yung sebo niya, babagay siya. Masarap to, eh, for added alat. Paella is not good for me kung wala siyang chorizo bilbao or any Spanish chorizo at that. Yeah. So I'm going to saute it together. Ayan, so the oil of the chorizo bilbao, ayan na. Okay, I'm just going to brown the chicken. When it's brown, I'm going to put in the shrimp and some of the squid. Ah, sarap niyan. Okay. Ano pang masarap when you have paella? Siyempre, kalyos. Okay, ayan na. So, dumami na yung oil ko. I'm going to add the shrimp. Okay. Yung seafood, not more than two minutes ang cooking ng seafood, ha? Not more than two minutes. So, let me know, Kuya, when it's two minutes na, <laughs> Okay, I just don't have enough space for my squid. I want kasi to brown for the chicken. Although, you don't have to cook the chicken all the way kasi I'm going to bake this later. Alright? You see, ang bilis niya, di ba, Leon? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of squid now. Whoops! Oh my gosh, ang laki naman pong squid na to. <laughs> Again, not more than two minutes, please. Okay. Naku, napakalaki naman pong squid. Ito napansin. <laughs> you know, some would like to put the home mussels. Yan, bahala na kayo. Okay, matapang lang ako mag-shrimps ngayon kasi hindi kakainin ang mga anak ko ngayon to dahil gabi na. But my kids are allergic kasi to shrimp. So usually it's just chicken, chorizo, and one time I put bagna in place of the chicken. Okay? Okay, now I'm going to put beyond tomato paste. Parang maliluto na yung aking squid. I'll set this aside for a while, ha? Okay? Ayoko siyang masunog. I'll put it back in a bit because I'm still waiting for the chicken to brown a little bit more. I'll put more squid. I like squid. So again, one dinner party. All you have to prepare, paella, pwede na. Diba? Tomato paste. Maliit lang na tomato paste ko. That was not a good idea. I'm going to stir it for a while with a tomato paste. Pwede ko na ihalo, ha? So you see there's the oil of the... The olive oil that we put and the oil of the... A little bit of the chicken and the chorizo del bao. Okay. This is the perfect time to add your salt. You add your pepper. Then, I will put my brown sugar. Okay, we're going to mix. Ah, smells good. Wow. Sarap na kamay nito. I'm going to put the red and green bell pepper. Mmm, sarap. You know what, I think if kids like chicken, and if your kids like spaghetti, so there's the tomato sauce element there, you can make it a little bit sweeter if you want. They're gonna like this, because it's like spaghetti, but rice. All right, I'm gonna put back my shrimps a little bit, ha? Para makuha niya yung flavor ng paella. Okay, there are many, many ways to make paella. Some people, they put uncooked rice, or there is paella rice, they let it cook in their paellera, but again, what I want to share with you is a very simple recipe. And of course, let's not forget our pepper and our salt. Okay, I'm going to set this aside, okay? This is what we are going to do. Set aside the chicken. Special nights. Let's have paella. Oops! What was that? They called paella. I call it paella. The words pronounced paella. 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 Okay, there's so many ways. My Filipino style pa ng paella, syempre, di ba? I'm going to set everything aside. This looks good, huh? I'm going to set the seafood, the chicken, and the chorizo, okay? I can leave some chorizo para, di ba, nasaray siya. Okay? There. Now that I have set aside the chicken, the squid, the shrimp, I left na my red and green bell pepper here. Now, I'm going to put, remember this, hold on, this is the six cups of cooked rice. Okay. O, di ba? So, kunyari, six cups ba to? Parang ang dami. Di ba? Pansyanin na lang natin to. Parang nadadamihan ako. Okay, let's try to mix it first. Low fire na to. Let's just put it on low fire. Look at this, neon. Okay, kunyari, meron kang sobrang um, rice the night before. Tapos lunch, anong kakainin ko? Ilabas ang chorizo bilbao from the can. Tapos a few pieces of chicken. Ilabas natin. ba? Kung may sobra kang shrimp or whatever, o kahit wala nga eh. And then, for lunch, with the sobrang rice that you have, old rice, Pwede ka na magpaella. Not bad. Right? I'm gonna add more rice. Sarap, di ba? Okay, titikman natin to maya maya. I'm just going to cover it. I'm gonna put more salt. Because remember, we put... Maliit lang to na tomato paste ang ginamit ko, ha? Okay. Yeah, the salt. And more pepper. Wow! Ito na, yung tutong. Oh, I think we have to heat the oven, guys. So you see that it's covered na. Now, I invested on my own paellera now because I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil and then I'm going to bake it for a little bit, di ba? So, 
for a third of our option. I bought this in Lazada. It's not so expensive. I think this is 600 pesos. Okay. <laughs> I'm promoting for Lazada. Okay, so it's done, right? I mixed it. So we're going to transfer the rice. Uh, paellera. I hope it fits. This looks like a big paellera. Okay, there's so many ways again. May iba, they put saffron. It's very expensive. You put a little bit. But ito ako, Filipino style. Simple, pang mommy. Mommy friendly um, recipe. Okay, we're going to spread it flat. See, marami rin, oh. There. See, this is just a simple way, ha. This is my humble <laughs> take <laughs> on paella. Sige, I'll just try to be as artistic as I can be. No judgment. <laughs> Don't judge me, Leon. Okay, I'm so hungry na. I'm gonna bake this pa. Okay, please. We love chorizo. Okay? Be creative. Bahala na kayo how you want to do it. But when it's dinner time and you're hungry, pareho lang naman yan. There you go. Let's put chorizo everywhere. Chorizo, chorizo everywhere. And then we're gonna put the shrimps. No judging, ah. The real chefs don't judge me, ah. <laughs> we cannot be chefs at home, eh. <laughs> Our kids are always hungry. Kailangan. Mabilis, may kakainin ka agad. Pagandahan na lang ng, ng presentation, tas tag nyo na lang ako. <laughs> Just tag me. <laughs> Alright, let me see. There, okay? Laki ko silang chicken ko eh, di ba? Alright, I'm gonna put some squid around. Six cups of rice. One tomato paste. In can. And your chorizo rebel. And a few pieces of chicken. Leftover seafood na pwede pang gawin. May paella ka na. Wow, this is, ano ah, masagan <laughs> paella to ah. There's a lot of, it's full packed. Okay, now, we're not even done yet, right? Because, I'm gonna put some hard-boiled eggs. Dapat dun yun sa gitna, but never mind. No one's gonna judge me. We're all struggling moms. Who want to come up with dishes that will make our family happy and make celebrations at home? seem very special because we can't celebrate with catering when it's an occasion, a special occasion. We can serve this. All right. Let's put a little green piece. Ooh, there. A little bit, see? Adds color. And then, let's put some lemon. Just for, no, masarap to ang ganyan eh. Lagyan ng lemon eh. There. And then, I'm going to wrap this up. So I've already arranged it in the paellera or paellera. I'm going to bake this for about 30 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, aluminum foil ko. After 30 minutes, I will remove the foil and then I'm going to add another 20 minutes without the foil. Okay? So, a lot of you ask me, um, what if we're not having over? Okay, so if you've cooked the chicken all the way, remember, diba, I just renowned ko lang yung chicken. So I want to cook it pa sa oven, no? But if you don't want to bother baking it because you don't have an oven, then cook the chicken all the way with the seafood. And then, kainin yun na. But this one, I'll just show you, like, the way I was taught to do it before. Let's go! Oh, <laughs> Perfect! Perfect! <laughs> okay, hold on. Eat another. Okay, so we baked it for 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes with foil. Now you can bake it for another 20 minutes. That's a timer. Before 30 minutes, you can bake it again for another 20 minutes without the foil. But I'm really hungry. So I'm not going to bake it again without the foil. Leon is laughing at me. But look how it is. Fair show. There. Okay, so perfect, simple, very, very simple paella. So we baked this for 350 degrees for 30 minutes with foil, and then you remove it, and you may add another 20 minutes without the foil. That's because I'm really hungry. <laughs> I'm going to try it already. It looks very cooked, it's still smoky. Ah, yeah, it's good. Yeah. Pero for those na gusto na may, may tutong sa ilalim, yeah, but meron na, oh. This is okay na. Okay.
Okay, so we're gonna have some chorizo. We're going to try it. But it's so hot. Let's have one piece of chicken and hard boiled eggs. Let's see. I mean, simple. One paella. One paellera. You have a party. Okay, we'll eat it first with the chorizo. Let me try. It's really hot. This is a risk. Don't try this at home. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, hold on. Masarap to ni may lemon. Naka sobrang init. <laughs> sobrang init. So, oh, wow. Sobrang init. Oh, there you go. You see that? There. Mmm. Yum. Okay, we'll try it with the chicken. Mas masarap pala pag dinavlog. <laughs> Mas masarap lumalabas. This is so good. Mmm. This is so perfect. No, let me finish. This is the perfect simple paella. Best for entertaining at home. Everything in one dish. Thank you so much for joining me again today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And please tag me when you prepare this at home. Thank you. Bye.